Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV, the online video channel for Hexcon's global network of brands. I am your host, Rebecca Fu. Today, we are speaking to Mr. Busroni Arivianto from PT Omega Juice Systems and Mr. Bram Mantara from Boroboto Heritage Conservation Office under the Ministry of Culture and Education, Indonesia. PT Omega Geo Systems is part of Omega Group founded in 2001 in Jakarta. The company is a sole agent and service center for Laika Geo Systems in Indonesia. For more than 13 years, PT Omega Geo Systems has been the heart of accelerating survey technologies for surveyors around the world. Borobodo Heritage Conservation Office is tasked to preserve, restore and maintain the Borobodo, a 9th century Mahayana Buddhist temple that is also a UNESCO site. Welcome both. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, thank you for the invitation. First of all, um, could you introduce yourself and uh, describe your partnership? Okay, thank you for the invitation, Rebecca, for this uh, good occasion. So, myself is Pushroni Arif Yanto. Uh, I'm the director of the Almika Geo Systems. And myself already involved with the Laika or since 89, 1989, so when the brand still wild, wild hair proof, and then changed to Laika in the 90. So I have a long history with Laika until today. If this is the my, this is a HDS product. This is my new product for us, and then this is my make me relation with Mr. Bram here because we are selling the first scanner to Indonesia. Is the HDS 3000 to UNESCO is for. Or this is my relationship to Mr. Bram. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Bram okay, sorry. thank you uh, for this invitation. Mm -hmm. I will introduce myself. My name is Bram Antara. Uh, I based in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. I work in Borobudur Heritage Conservation Office uh, on the 3D laser scanning and photogrammetry section. Uh, in the past, uh, we use uh, manual methodology from uh, for. Uh, heritage documentation and data recording. Uh, now, uh, Borobudur uh, tasked by uh, UNESCO and then uh, UNESCO profit us uh, the first uh, laser scanner in 2005. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Bram, can you share with us your experience using a Leica laser scanner in the field of cultural heritage site? For the first time, we used the type of the 3D laser scanner in 2005. The type is uh, HDS 3000. Uh, from the tools, uh, we have uh, the great uh, accuracy data uh, from the data heritage documentation. And then on progress, uh, we improve the tools by using the, uh, the other type of 3D laser scanning is the C10. Is more quickly, is more fast, is more detailed data, and uh, for the analysis, uh, we will get the accurate data. All right. So, how has productivity improvement of a scanner helped your organization? In Borobudur Con uh, Heritage Conservation Office, uh, more special job uh, we do on the heritage documentation and uh, data recording for cultural heritage in Indonesia. It's many cultural heritage, so uh, when we use the manual methodology, uh, we need a lot of uh, people uh, to record the data of the site of the heritage, and then we need the long time for uh, analyze and to make a drawing. Uh, for, for example, uh, it's one building heritage. But now, uh, when we use the new uh, methodology for data recording, it's uh, the 3D laser scanning. Uh, we just need uh, for uh, just a little people and then we only need a uh, more short time uh, to get the data uh, and then to analyze and we give conclusion. Alright, so Pat Brahm, with the success of using the scan station C10 in Borobodo Heritage Site, yeah. uh, what advice would you provide for other cultural conservation sites that would like to engage on this kind of technology? Uh, we use the technology 3D laser scanning as uh, for uh, data recording uh, and heritage uh, for data recording in heritage site in Indonesia. Uh, for example, is uh, Gedong Songo Temple. Uh, we use uh, uh, we record the data of the Gedong Songo Temple from on uh, the uh, 
first sample to the nine sample we get the data uh, contour and then we can make the different elevation because in the position of the gedong song temple in the hill so we will get the uh, coordinate with the good accuracy and then uh, we can the uh, output of the drawing uh, with the good dimension mm -hmm. and then the other case uh, we also uh, recording the jam gadang jam gadang is in the one of the colonial heritage Indonesia uh, we measure the inclination of the building because it has a damage from the earthquake mm -hmm. so uh, with the 3D laser scanning we can uh, measure the inclination from each level and then from the data we can give the conclusion how to restore and how to make the building more stable I see so now but Bushruni Oh, what do you like most about Leica Geo Systems HDS solutions? This equipment is really a good technology or the latest technology for the data acquisition and I believe that Leica always produces uh, very good instruments and myself have, uh, have a long history with Leica so I'm sure Leica make a very good instrument solution for any type of technology including the HDS so um, I think the Opportunities for HDS Indonesia are still uh, a big, big opportunities in Indonesia. But the problem is we are going to the common survey and construction uh, level, construction market. I mean, uh, prices still have a uh, restriction or problem because of the price of the HDS is ten times for the normal survey equipment. So we need more time to conv convince them to purchase this equipment or this technology implement to their their business. But I'm sure in, in the short time uh, the HDS business or is 3D laser scanning will be a good market in Indonesia. Right. So one last question. PT Omega Geo Systems being a legacy partner for like a Geo Systems Asia Pacific, how do you maintain this partnership? Yeah, we are all myself and my staff is about forty people in my companies and most of them is already have uh, have a good contact, a good relationship with the survey business and we are working with full effort focus and we believe that Leica will be supporting us for a long time already so we can deliver that message to our customers and also we provide, improve, we try to improve myself, ourselves by implement ISO standard for our services so we try to make our customers happy and uh, satisfied with our service. I think this is the, the, the reason why we still keep have a good relationship with Leica until today. Right. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us today. We'd like to thank today's guests, Mr. Busruni and Mr. Pat Brom for joining us. You can learn more about PT Omega Geo Systems at omegageosystems.co.id. For more about HXG and TV, please Tune in to hxgntv.com. Thank you.